Pigman Productions. Dump dump. Hey big guys, Pigman Productions here, and wow, this is like my third time trying to record that. Yeah, this is my third time trying to record this commentary because my brothers keep making noises, and I had the mic plugged into the wrong thingy, and the sound didn't come out. Quick note about this um little clip at the start. Do you comment below if like the game keeps losing like connection for you, like the game keeps shutting down? Because that's exactly what happens in this clip at the start. Um, so it might just be my terrible internet, or like that I was uploading a video when I recorded this, or that like I'm in Ireland and the guys here were playing America. So we're in America. So if that happens to you a lot, then just tell me in the comments. I I. Yeah, it'd be nice to know that I'm not the only one. So, yeah, it, it like loses connection around here in about five, four, three, two. <laughs> oh, I don't know what that was, but yeah, see, I was uploading the St. Patrick's Day parade video and it like just loses connection. And anyway, moving on to the real commentary here. <coughs> um, Basically, what I'm going to talk about in this commentary is about St. Patrick's Day stuff and, excuse me, and um, about the story of my leg. So I'll tell you the story about my leg first. So about four days ago, um, yeah, it was four days ago, for some reason I was just on my shed. No reason, it's like this eight foot high wooden shed and I was on top of it and I fall off and I slip off it and my right leg, the side of it lands onto this pile of, um, oh, sorry, I like, I hate that noise when you do that, but there's this pile of um, stones at the bottom and like they were big boulders now, they weren't just like little pebbles and land off it, completely scrape my leg off it and I like bounce off them and I just wallop my leg then off, uh, like wallop means like smash it off my wheelbarrow so that wasn't very nice, I wasn't in school for the last three days like um, on Wednesday the day after it happened I was in school for a little while <clears throat> but then it just it started really hurting and I had to go home and then for Thursday and Friday is today um so Thursday was yesterday I didn't go to school and Friday which is today um we only had a half day um anyway because it was East, it's Easter break now as I'm speaking so I missed out on today as well just to make sure because like if I right when I sit down my arse gets really numb and after a while it's like ah it's a little better now and then when I stand up again it starts numbing up again and um then like it, it starts getting better then when I sit down it like um hurt hurts again but since excuse me since this is like the third um attempt to record this video i've been sitting down a while now so it's all right <coughs> so yeah it's all right um now but i also wanted to talk about as you heard in the start um saint patrick's day like i did a video um keep watching till the end it will let you look at my saint patrick's day parade video um, it's basically, I'm just in the middle of town while the St. Patrick's Day Parade is on. And I'll tell you now about St. Patrick. So he was basically this Welsh person who was born in Wales. And when he was 16, he was slaved. And he had to work as, I think it was a shepherd up in the Irish hills. And one time he like escaped because he had a dream about this boat and he escaped and got this boat back to Wales. Um, it's I didn't make up this story. It is religion and religion, I'm not religious that much, but Ireland is a religious country, so I'm sort of forced to be Catholic. But yeah, so yeah, basically he like went back to Wales and then he had a dream of bells calling him back to Ireland. And when he went back to Ireland, um, he, T taught the Irish about religion and everything and yeah that's why I am that's why we celebrate St. Patrick's Day and um, because apparently he saved us by telling us about religion so I don't really think he saved us at all I think we'd be the same people just we wouldn't have churches and we wouldn't have to waste an hour 
an hour or two every Sunday when we go to church. So just saying, if you're religious, no offense. Um, just saying, I don't really, I, I don't really, um, like, it's not that I don't believe, I just don't really follow religion that much. <coughs> um, and yeah, but then there's like, um, tales of him, like, um, there used to be snakes in Ireland. I don't believe this story. It's not really even religious. It's just a story people made up that he like drove drove the snakes out of Ireland. And even though I don't think there ever were snakes in Ireland, so I don't know what where how anyone made up that, but it, it just got made up. But in the parade, like I mean, the Rathangan Scouts are there, which aren't the ones I go to. I'm in the Monastrevan Scouts and. Like, I should have been marching in the parade, but at the last minute I just said, don't want to march, I want to see it. <laughs> so, um, I, I was recording video of it, um, so the video's nearly ending here anyway. But, like, I, I didn't go in it, so, <clears throat> yeah, and I just recorded the video. And please click on it, um, click on St. Patrick's Day 2013, my point of view, if you want to see that video I'm talking about. If you want to see a video where I don't get a golden ticket, <laughs> click on that video beside um, St. Patrick's Day Parade. Subscribe by clicking the yellow subscribe button. If you want to see more gameplay slash commentaries from me, click on click for more gameplay slash commentaries. So, hope you enjoyed this gameplay slash commentary. I said that like 10 times now. Anyway though, my name is Billy or Pigman Productions. And I hope you enjoyed this commentary. Peace out. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god.